Hey, how can we help you? It's been suggested that I need new glasses. My next game's in two hours. I got this. With a lens lab in every store, we can make your glasses in about an hour. Let's play ball! Two pairs start at $38.71, and two pairs with progressive lenses, $76.92. We made them in 37 minutes! <laughs> Thanks. You too? Yeah. For glasses when you need them, we've got the right team at iMart Express. Right glasses, right price, right now. Get ready. And that is going to do it for us on this Wednesday night. I'm Lester Holt. I'll see you later for our live coverage of tonight's presidential debate. Until then, for all of us at NBC News, thank you for watching and good night. <laughs>
And don't forget, you can watch the presidential candidates go head-to-head -head one last time before November's election right here on KVLY and KX4. Coverage of the final debate kicks off at 8 p.m. We'll also be streaming it live on our website, valleynewslive.com. Gray and a little chilly today, but things are looking up in the forecast. First, though, let's check out tonight's forecast. Hutch, what have you got for us? Well, Andrea, we've seen a lot of cloud cover today here in the Southern Valley, and that trend continues as we take a closer look at the satellite and radar composite. No precipitation in our neck of the woods. However, there are some pesky clouds that have been stapled over the Central and Southern Valley for the better part of the day. That held temperatures in the 40s for most of us throughout the afternoon. 39 in Bemidji right now, 45 Fargo. And temperatures, thanks to those clouds, will be slow to fall. We'll stay in those low 40s until bedtime tonight. Light northwest wind continues. So bottom line, not a lot changes as we go through the evening. Overnight, some freezing temperatures are likely, but then we get to talk about a warming trend. I'm excited to share the details with all of you here in just a few moments. Yeah, we're excited to hear them too. I'll bet. Thank you. You bet. At least three people are injured after a crash involving a uh, truck and a semi-trailer near Holly, Minnesota. It happened just after three this afternoon. Police say a 40-year-old man has been in and out of consciousness. An eight-year-old has a large cut on his head and an 11-year-old boy has unknown injuries. We're told all three were taken to a hospital with injuries that are not life-threatening. The state patrol says a semi-truck made a turn into the left westbound lane on Highway 10 near mile marker 26. The semi then tried to make a lane change, and that's when the pickup truck clipped the semi. Officers are still investigating the crash. The driver of the semi was not injured. Quick action by a community service officer likely saved a man's life. It happened yesterday around 3.30 in the afternoon in Moorhead. A 34-year-old man was rescued from the Red River after being in the water for about two hours. The man told police he fell in the water and was swept down shore by the strong current. He eventually grabbed onto a tree that was in the water. The strong current was uh, even pulled the man's pants off. A kayaker spotted the man and called 911. A nearby community service officer responded, got into the river, and pulled the man to safety. The officer says he typically doesn't deal with rescues, but was in the right place at the right time and doesn't think he's a hero. It's not something that I would consider because it's just something anybody would do. If you see someone freezing in the river, you're going to help them. Um, and I was able to. The water was not too deep to where I couldn't stand on the bottom. Police say the man was suffering from hypothermia and taken to a hospital. A Grand Forks man has been charged with beating up his parents in what appears to be another case of elder abuse. Valley News Team's Neil Carlson shows us what happened and what you need to know to make sure it doesn't happen to someone you know. It happened here on 10th Avenue North this week. According to court documents, 25-year-old Joseph Kuntz was upset with his parents for taking away his guns because of a substance abuse problem. Kuntz allegedly shoved his arthritic mother down and put his father, who suffers from CPOD, in a stranglehold. Kuntz now faces one count of felony, aggravated assault. <laughs> Calls specifically regarding elder abuse are not an everyday occurrence, according to police, but it falls into a larger category that needs their attention. Whether it's a domestic violence, domestic abuse situation, child abuse, elder abuse, uh, anytime there's suspicion that a person is being abused, regardless of who it, the abuser is, um, it should be investigated. Ah! Hidden cameras have captured elder abuse at nursing homes and private homes across the country. According to the National Council on Aging, one in ten Americans over the age of 60 have experienced some form of elder abuse. It's abuse that police say often needs to be reported by someone who's outside the family. A lot of times uh, abuse occurring within a family, uh, it's very difficult for someone in that situation to actually report the abuse. There, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of dynamics in play. So if someone from the outside sees it, um, I think it's important for them to, to make that call and let someone intervene. In Grand Forks, Neil Carlson, Valley News Live. In the Grand Forks case of Joseph Kuntz, who's charged with uh, beating up his father, Kuntz already has a criminal history of two other assaults. A Fargo man has been sentenced to 41 years and seven months for a shooting in Dilworth. 
25-year-old Lloyd Johnson was found guilty of six counts of attempted murder at a Dilworth apartment complex. Johnson could get out of prison on parole after serving 27 years. Police say back in October, four to five people dressed in black and wearing masks came to the front door of the apartment complex and attempted to break it down. Officials say no one was hurt, but several shots were fired at the people inside the apartment. Fargo police say they need the public's help in finding a missing teenager. Police posted on their Facebook page this afternoon that 16-year-old Ethan Kuchera is about 5'10", 140 pounds, with brown hair and blue eyes. He was last seen on October 13th in uh, the 1100 block of 3rd Avenue South in Fargo. Police think uh, Kuchera has ties to the Grand Forks area as well as Fargo. If you have any information on his whereabouts, please call Fargo or Grand Forks Police. Later on Valley News Live at 6, an area high school is sending one of the symbols of the fall season soaring. Details still to come. North wind combined with pretty pesky cloud cover throughout our day kept temperatures in the 40s for the valley. It does look like we have warmer weather around the corner. I'll have the details in your hour by hour forecast next. You're watching Valley News Live on TV, online, and on the go. Always on, wherever you are, whenever you need to know.